everyone. In this video, we're back to our dips, tricks, and drops. We're going to do a little bit of a slide in this one. So we bring Shane back into the frame. All right. So this one's going to be a little drop, single leg drop for the girl between the guy's legs. Remember, drops, be patient, girls. Wait for the lead because you don't want to throw that guy's back out. All right, we're gonna be on handshake. I'm gonna do a Manhattan. I could do a normal break back, but you're gonna find this is much easier for the leader to get off the track. Break off of the hand so I can go straight into it. I can actually achieve my footwork. Allow me to get in that stable position where I've got a slight knee bend, and boom, and boom. And then I unwind the girl, and away we go, we do our basic footwork. So then straight from this hand, we're going... Oh, yeah. <laughs> from this hand. We're doing cross-handed. We're going into the hammer lock. The gentleman is stepping across. Before he bails the hand... I'm going to put your hand back up here. <laughs> just to make sure she knows he's ready. Then the hand bails. We move our second hands to support on the other person. And we slide and come back up. Yeah. So the important element, it's very hard to do these things that's static. So I would suggest getting in this position, knowing that you want to practice. We're a handshake, hammer lock me of the back, Lower staying back, connected, thumb around thumb, left hand on the shoulder. The minute the girl feels that separation, down here by the way. now we can do it. Ready and boom. Ah, so easy, <laughs> because the girl's really wearing all the weight in her leg, 60, 40. She's sitting over my foot. So that's how you should practice it, coming in, say, yep, grab the hand, go ready, and boom, ha, and I can make any adjustments I need. So you want to practice those moves as much as possible. I'm going to sharpen a couple of different angles. Can I break it down real quick? So we're rocking back with the cross hand. Shane is offering his left hand over the top. We're going to straighten or try to straighten the fellow's arms so that when the hand flips for the pancake on the gentleman, we get to put the arm up to the small of the back to be hammerlock or S turn for the follow. At that point in time, she's traveling across. He'll step across with both legs, make sure his feet are secure before he veils. Then he sends me out. Now, you see his hand go to my upper arm. That's where my hand goes down closer to his waist. If I did it up here by the shoulder area, I would pull, pull him forward. So I'm trying to keep our hands and our centers as close together as possible. She feels me bend. That creates a separation at the hips. She now knows she can go down. Boom. And it is so easy, it's crazy. <laughs> because that separation says both my legs or my quads are engaged, I'm ready to take that and, and, and let her go into that lunge position. And one thing we haven't talked about before is, gentlemen, you're actually going to use your glutes and your quads, your glutes being the strongest muscle in Keeping your body back since straight. birth. So, largest muscle in your body since birth, so when she comes down between, it's almost as if you're doing a hip thrust to come back up. Yes, that's really easy. So Boom, ha, yep. and away you go. So we'll demonstrate it from the side. I'm stepping off the track because she's coming down the left side. That's why I offer the hand. Boom. I'm there. Separation. And down and up. You can see, it doesn't even change my voice when I do the move. Again. One, two, three, hold. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Oh, I had a lot of energy then. Unwind. I step off the track as I help her unwind to the right, and then I can do my basic footwork and I can continue to dance. So make sure you practice those things. First of all, be connected. Create the separation, practice that. Then practice just squatting. Then practice through and up. You'll find it's actually quite an easy move when we work together.